Okay, so as you can see on the screen, now all praises is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the master of the day of judgment. All praises are due to him. Now, we have issues going on with the scholars and they have no clue about Al Madi. They have no clue. And the shocker, the big shocker, is Al Madi is black. Okay? Al Madi is the real Mohammed. And the real Mohammed is black. The Prophet Mohammed, peace and blessings be upon him, was a servant. And that religion belonged originally to. The Al Madi. And the problem that's going on in Arabia today is they're trying to keep something that does not belong to them. And this is the reason why they are under attack by a swarm of killer bees. But let's get to the real deal question How are you going to sit up there and say you know the return of Jesus Christ when it says no man know of the day, not even the angels? So let's deal with that. First of all, you have to realize that Al Madi is the father. According to the scriptures, there is a father. And this father is Al Madi. This is who Paul wanted to be like. Paul wanted to be like Al Madi, and Paul was sentenced to hell. He has his own prison in hell named Bulas in the Arabic tongue. And every time Jesus spoke and he's mentioned my father, he was not talking about God because in the religion of real Islam, we do not believe Allah has a son. It is a monstrosity to even say such a thing. So with this in mind, you have to understand that every time Jesus spoke of his father, he was speaking of al Mahdi. He is the chief prophet now let's go on with this it says but of that day and hour knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only now at that time al Maddie, which is me i was in heaven when i was born i remember my hospital room and i remember a brief conversation with my mom and the doctor i'm not going to go into detail on this set I'll bring that out when I get before the audience and things like that. We're just going to deal with one thing at a time. So let's deal with the fact that the Pharisees and the Jews already believed and accused Jesus of calling God his father. So I'm going to get that scripture real, real quick. So just bear with me. Okay, we're going to do everything decent and in order. Now, this is going to be in John chapter 5, and it's not in my notes today. So if you go over to John chapter 5, and let's go to verse 18. Verse 18, it reads, Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father making himself equal with God. So the Jews already believed that he was making God his father. So now with that in mind, let's go back up to John 8, 27. And let's deal with this thing because people don't know the Bible. It says they understood not that he spake to them of the father. Hold up. Right here in John, it literally says that they accused him of making God his father. So this is not true. Jesus never once made God his father. Every time he was talking about father, he was talking about al Mahdi, which is somebody the Christians are asleep on, as well as the Israelite camps. Now, the Muslims or the Arabians, they know who al Mahdi is. They just deal with the fact that <laughs> he, they think he's Arabian. They don't understand that in Song of Solomon, chapter 1, 5, and 6, he tells you he is black. As the tents of Qadar. Then it goes on to say, my mother's children were angry with me. Why? Because they made me the keeper of the vineyard. So the Arabians are mad at two things. First of all, the vineyard belongs to 
someone that's not in their nation and they are mad at the Maddy, the real Maddy, is black. You're looking at the real Maddy right now. Now, messianic figures never come the way you want them to come. OK, so we can deal with that on many of my other views, videos. Let's deal with this right here. So here we got to tackle this thing. But of that day and hour, no man knoweth, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. And if you go to Mark chapter 13, it says, but my father, which is in heaven. At that time, I was in heaven in 1982. I came down here. I'm an heir to the throne. I am a descendant of David. The throne belongs to me. I'm an heir. I came here to clean up this earth. And we'll get to those prophecies in just a second. So let's go back to our notes real quick. Because you want to spread this. You want to spread this. And don't start crying now. Don't start crying now. And we're going to go through this story. Let's go to the actual... Um, let's go to the actual, um, prophecy of Al Matty. I'll bring that up real quick. And we're going to deal with rich homie Quan too. You're going to see that rich homie Quan was a picture of me. Rich homie Quan was not rich. He was not rich. He was not rich. So who is the Quan that really is rich? Okay. So let me pull up a screen real quick. Because I want everything to be where people can see it. All right. So I'm sending this to my Mac from my phone real quick. That way we can have this on the screen. Oh, take your time and chill. Relax. Because what we're going to talk about is important. Very important. And I've been at work and I've been willing, I've been ready to get home and to talk about this. So, boom, here it is. Bang. Here we have. Now, in Islamic eschatology, the Mahdi is a messianic leader who is believed to rule for seven, eight, or nine years before the end of the world. Now, this is my testimony yesterday morning. I'm getting ready to put on my Timberlands. Putting on my Timberlands. It's about four something in the morning. Everybody is asleep. And within me, I heard, you know, your mama died at nine. Because I've been preaching and teaching for the last couple weeks that I am Al Maddie. And I was asking him, Allah, when am, am I going to die? And I was just wondering about that. And let me tell you something. When he said, you know, your mom died when you was nine, because God speaks to us in our own language. And y'all pronounce it Maddy, but I pronounce it Madi, Madi, like like mommy died or Madi died, you know. So when he said your mama died, my brain is like a computer. When he said your mama died at nine, I automatically went to the Hadith. Where it says that he will reign for nine years. Nine years. So I was, man, I'm telling you, man. When God tells you that you are about to die, I don't care who you are. Man, that hurts, man. The tear dropped in the bathroom. And then I, you know, I held it together and I was just like, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm going to do this. And throughout that whole day, man, tears just kept coming. People didn't really notice because I was playing it off. People didn't even realize it, okay? I just went to work, didn't tell nobody. Didn't tell my wife over the phone. Didn't tell my my uh, my daughters over the phone. I just kept it to myself until I got home and I told my family, man, let me tell you something. You are dealing with someone who is in connection with God. So now I'm wondering what the Arabs is going to do now. Okay, if I have nine years, that's telling you that ain't nobody going to be able to harm me. And the nine years is going to be the sum total of about the amount 
time I'm going to be able to reign. So this explains the crusades. For those who are new to the channel, I have music. I've been singing about an Arabian army. I've been singing about leading a crusade. Now it makes sense because the Mahdi will be able to, to purge this earth, okay, of evil and violence and sin because this man will not be able to be harmed for nine years for nine years and let's keep reading in islamic eschatology the mati is a messianic leader who is believed to rule for seven eight or nine years before the end of the world the mati is said to let's keep going a messianic deliverer who will fill the earth with justice and equity. And what am I here to do? Restore true religion. And usher in a short golden age lasting seven, eight, or nine years before the end of the world. So this one man is going to do something that the prophet Isa never done. He's going to do something that the prophet Muhammad never done. This man is going to completely wipe violence away from the earth okay so this man you can't let these islamic scholars fool you this man is a prophet the mahdi is the chief prophet he is the prophet of all prophets he is the father of all prophets and every time jesus talked about the father he was talking about al Mahdi in the gospels there's not one time jesus called god his father there is only one time where he calls himself the son of God after calling you the son of God. And it makes sense because then he's called what? The son of man, son of man, son of man, son of man. All right. Now, when Allah revealed to me that I was al Mahdi, he told me that Jesus was my son. Okay. He said he doesn't have any sons. He said, that's your son. Okay. And I was shocked, man. I was, that was a shocker for me, okay? He said, Jesus is your son. So when you go to that famous scripture that the Christians love quoting, where it says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Why does it say begotten? Begotten means father, son. So this al Mahdi is a father and a son. He's a father and a son. Now I am a father and I have only one son and his name starts with a J. Okay. So it bear witness with my spirit when Allah revealed to me within myself that I was the father of the prophet Isa. And I've been singing. You can check out my YouTube channel. I've been singing about Jesus return. That's what I sing about a lot. OK, and so, man, I was I was literally shocked. So God sent his only begotten son. This is talking about Al Mahdi. OK, because Al Mahdi is the one who is going to completely clean up this earth. That scripture was not talking about Jesus. Jesus was talking about his father and he called him the son. Why is he called the son? Because he's the S-U-N, okay? Al Mahdi is the brightest of all messengers. Of all messengers. I am going to do something that no other prophet has ever done. I am going to completely cleanse this earth of wicked. For, for, for the time, within nine years, this is going to happen, okay? Now, the problem with Christians is that they don't study. They don't study. Now, me, I started off a Christian for 20 years, 20 years, okay? But I'm the type of person, I'm not going to let you tell me that my that apple pie over there is, is bad. I'm going to try it out. So I've studied the Mormon's book. I studied the Quran. I studied the Hades. I studied everything. I studied the lost gospels. I studied the, the infancy gospels. I studied the apocrypha. I'm not going to let somebody come up to me and tell me, hey, uh, uh, don't read that. No. I read and I study and I went from knowing I was an Israelite for about five years of my 20 years Christian. And then I went into Islam and I'm new in Islam. I'm only in Islam for about a year and a half. OK, and Allah told me I wanted you to start with the Bible first. He said the Muslims are in trouble right now in Gaza because they've been ignoring the prophecies of a black Mahdi coming from the descendant of David. That's why they in trouble. 
And they have a book called the book of the bees that talks about the roof caving in on them. That talks about God raising up a messenger from every community. Then he goes on to tell you in 113 that they are rejecting the messenger. This is not talking about the prophet Muhammad. This is talking about Al-Mahdi, the real Muhammad. Okay, the stone that the builders rejected is Al-Mahdi. Jesus told you this in Matthew 21, 42. The stone that the builders rejected. You know that black cobble stone that's surrounded by the silver that y'all kiss on the corner of the stone? That's a picture of me. I am Lamonti. My dad is Monty. Okay, right here. The prophet said, Uhud. That's going into the hood apostle. That, that was my rap name. The hood apostle, you see? Octane the hood apostle. Ehud. Uhud. However you pronounce it. Is a mountain that loves us. And we love it. He wasn't talking about some mountain loving him. He was talking about me. I'm surrounded by mountains. My city is 6,000 feet above. Okay, I am, I am high up over here in Cali. Okay, and this is, this is, the prophet Muhammad was talking about me. He refers to me as the dates. And we'll get to that later. He refers to me as the mountains. The Quran refers to me as the clay. Okay. I'm all through the Bible. In, in, in Daniel chapter 2, clay. Okay. Jeremiah, clay. Okay. Now, you have to understand that al Mahdi is the daddy of all prophets. So when the prophet Muhammad said that the Mahdi will be of my family and, and will be of my stock, he will be of my father's house, his name will agree with my father. Yeah, because al Mahdi is the real Muhammad, duh, for scholars. And now we have about nine years, nine years. When God told me I had nine years left, boy, man, let me tell you something. Today, I didn't cry one single bit. But yesterday, boy, some tears was streaming down and it humbled me. It really did humble me. But I was so thankful that to know that I was a true prophet because I've been telling people I was, I'm the Maddie for like two, three weeks. And God just revealed to me I got about nine years to reign. OK, and the Muslims can't even agree on seven or eight years. So that means I am going to be protected for these nine years. Now, if we go to my tattoo and this is on my left arm, OK, it says Maria. OK, it goes that's going into my army. See, M I R me, my army. OK, and then look, you got the barcode. Inside bar, if you use A twice, you got Arab. So you got Arab army. Where's my Arab army? Where is it? And then you got the date. This was September the 16th when Allah revealed to me that 2034 is the day I'm going to die on September the 16th. Just like the Twin Towers crashing down. He said, you're going. You're going. And then I picked my hand up like a watch. He said, watch. I'm like using it like a watch. I got a watch right now. I got the most expensive watch in the world. I have the time for the end. You see, one, one, one. And there's a six and there's the 20. Because that scepter is going to be passed to my son, my son, Jeremiah. You see, these Muslims don't have any clue about the Mahdi. The Mahdi is the die. My name is Daquan. According to Isaiah 49 and 6, God is going to use one man from the tribes of Israel. Okay, a descendant from David, from Judah. And this man is going to raise up the 12 tribes by himself. They're coming out of his loins. Okay, they're coming out of me just like God told Moses. Hey, let me kill these people and I'll make of you a great nation. That's what God is doing with al Madi. Okay, I always was. I always was. I had to come down here and now I have to die. Okay. I have to die. I have to die. All because of this screw up. So when you go to Isaiah 53 and it talks about the suffering servant. And when it talks about him being bruised. That is a metaphor for the nation of Israel. And smart People know that's not talking about Jesus. That is talking about the nation of Israel. And metaphorically, it is talking about Jacob, which is Al-Mahdi, the smooth man. 
okay? The smooth man, just like Rich Homie Quan, no, no hair at all, okay? I just got this little bit, but I'm 42, okay? And I've, God just kept me and preserved me. And so now when, you, when, when we go through this thing, I am the man that's going to lead the crusade. Wherever I go, I'm going to have success. Okay, I'm going to be able to deliver the Arabs and I'm putting them under rulership. They being ruled. Okay, we're going to deal with these scholars. We're going to deal with these Christians. They are in trouble. Ain't nobody teaching no more. Okay, books are going to be revised and everything. And I know you think I'm going crazy, but watch this. Okay, I'm going to show you some more stuff in your own Bible that you don't know. You don't know about 34. 34 is the end. And as Almaty, I can say that. Okay? Because Jesus said his father knows. Almaty knows. You got to understand Islam is the truth, y'all. That's the reason why it is the number one fastest growing religion. Allah has no sons. And for you Muslims who want to sit up there and try to say, oh, oh that's a metaphor, you know, for God. No. It is a monstrosity. To even say Allah has a son. Okay. I am the father of the prophet Isa. And I am the father of the prophet Muhammad. All y'all saying y'all love Muhammad. Muhammad. Oh, we love Muhammad. 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 And you don't even love his father who is down here. I've been down here since 1982. In the year 2000, I was 18 years old. Okay, I am Al Maddie, and I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna show you some more stuff. Look at the albums I've been doing. I got 30 albums, over 30 albums. And look at that. That's God's hand reaching down to save me. Right there. And this was released back in 2012. Look at Master P, The Last Don. That's a picture of me. I'm the last Don. Okay, right here in this album called Virtual Warfare, which is a mixtape we freestyle in this album. I literally said, God, save me from the fire and broke off my chains, filled me with his spirit, gave me a new name. And I knew nothing about the, uh, the Quran or anything way back then. Okay, that was 2012. I just learned about the Monty within the last month. OK, but God is rectifying me in one night and he is showing me so much. So there it is. My army. Where's my Arab army? OK, and underneath that, I had a girl's name. OK, I had a girl that let me do whatever I wanted. OK, and I got her name under there. But when I met my wife, I covered it up. But her name was Chantel, Chantel, Contel. And God said, hey, I want you to tell Farrakhan. And I ain't going to say it just right now. I love my brother. Right now, we've been reaching out to uh, the Fruit of Islam, and they still not reaching back. So I'm going to save that. But I'm not going to tell you what he told me to tell him. But that's just amazing how God gave me messages. And I have no other tattoo. He gave me the date. Okay? This is going to be September the 16th, 2034. And I'm going to show you something else. Okay? Now, this is going to be in the Law of Moses. And I'm going to go there real quick because you know what? I want people to see the scriptures. It's one thing to quote it, but it's another thing when people actually see it. What's so significant about 34? Let's go to the law of Moses, Exodus chapter 20. Christians don't know nothing about this. Okay, let's go to Exodus chapter 20. And let's go to the law. God tells us, first of all, in Deuteronomy and we'll get that real quick and we'll come back to this because I'm taking my time with you today. And this is going to be Deuteronomy. And we're going to go to 24, 16, a scripture Christians don't know nothing about. Now, in Deuteronomy 24, 16, it says the father shall not be put to death for the children. Neither shall the children be put to death for their fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sins. This right here kills Christianity. This is how it was supposed to be. But now al Madi, the father, has to die. And now let's go to Exodus and we'll see why he has to die. This is going to be Exodus chapter 20. Let's go there real quick. 
Exodus 20. Watch this. Verse 5. Let's start at 4. No, let's start at 3. Since these Christians want to say Jesus is God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Jesus said he was the son of God. And God, the Lord thy God is saying, you shall have no other gods before me. Jesus never once with his own mouth said, I am the Lord your God. Okay, God is God put us through an ultimate test and we failed. First of all, thou shalt have no other gods before me. But look what's going to happen if you have a God before him. Watch. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Look what it says. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. Look, y'all, look unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So since the world made Jesus God, the father of all the prophets, the father that was speaking through the prophet Muhammad, the father that was speaking through the prophet Isa when he kept saying, I am, I am this, I am this. And remember, Jesus said, everything I said is not my words. Okay, that was me speaking through both of them. Now I have to come down here and I have to die. All because of this lie in Christianity. And this is 2034. Look at that. Okay, tell somebody a prophet is here. Okay, and let me tell you something. I'm holding everybody accountable. I was up there minding my business in the heavenlies. And I had to come down here and I have to die. Isaiah 53, the suffering servant, is talking about me, okay? It's not talking about Jesus, okay? Jesus' name ain't mentioned in there. It's a metaphor, and smart people, even if they don't believe it's al Mahdi, they know that it is Israel, okay? Because Israel is the servant of the Lord, okay? Christians and dummies, they automatically just slap Jesus on there. No, Jesus' name ain't nowhere in the Old Testament. God was speaking in dark sands and dark sentences, and Isaiah 53 is about me. There's no beauty that we would desire of him. Everybody just ignores me, okay? Everybody rejects me, okay? This is not the prophet Isa. Y'all got a handsome, butt-naked Jesus on the cross, Okay, that's not the suffering servant. The suffering servant is his daddy, me. I'm here right now. And I didn't even know who I was. Okay, but now I woke up. I'm like Kid Ink in the show me video. I'm, I'm waking up. Okay, I'm realizing like, damn, why the hell am I in this thing? Why do I have to die? Why do I have to die? I was nowhere near death this whole time. I was up there in the heavenlies and I heard all the words of all the books. That's why it don't matter how much you try to study. There's not going to be one man on the planet that can top my Bible knowledge. OK, because remember in the Quran, in the Hadiths, particularly, it says that God is going to bring forth this stone on the day of judgment. And it's going to have two eyes and it's going to have a tongue and it's going to testify to all of you. Who touched me in sincerity. Okay. So. When. When Allah brings me forth. I don't know. I only know what he shows me. All of you who touch me in sincerity. Will be forgiven. But all of those who don't. Will be judged. And Allah is going to make that revealed. Now I understand how this ministry is going to bloom. Why? Because we have the date. We have the date. Of the death of al -Mahdi. Now, when I'm saying Jesus is going to return 2034, September the 16th, what I'm telling you is this. According to the Hadiths, the prophet Isa will meet the Mahdi. So that's telling you from here till that time, everybody's going to see the prophet Isa. I'm not going to go into details and all this stuff. All I know. Is that the Mahdi, according to the Hadiths, if you are a real Muslim, is going to meet the prophet Isa. And I know that's true because I've been singing about the return of Jesus for a while, even before I was Muslim. 
Okay, that's what it means when the Quran says he will save some Christians. The Al Mahdi was caught up in Christianity. The Al Mahdi was like Pharaoh's son. Okay. Let me send this message real quick. He was like Pharaoh's son. He grew up in that ancient Christianity because you got to think about it. Pharaoh and... Uh, his son was a picture of ancient Christianity. Why? Because Pharaoh's son was considered God. So God had to kill Pharaoh's son. That was a picture of Jesus. Okay. And Pharaoh has to die. Okay. So the prophet Isa and me both have to die because of this huge thing going on in Christianity. That's why God said he will give every Muslim a Jew and a Christian. Now, the problem with these, these Arabs, my brothers, I'm, I'm trying to be humble. But Al Mahdi gets mad, okay? I'm trying to be humble. But y'all problem is y'all been ignoring the Bible. The Bible tells us that David's offspring, one of them, is going to reign forever. It's not me. It's my son. My son will, okay? He is from the nation of Judah. These are prophecies in the Bible that your Quran tells you he confirms what? He confirms the Hebrew scriptures. I'm not talking about Paul and all that. I'm not going to go into that. I'm talking about the Bible, the, the Old Testament. And that's why Muslims are being judged right now. So there you go, the third and fourth generation. That's going into the end. Y'all been playing games with God, okay? And there's a lot going on right now, right now in the spiritual realm. These, uh, these Muslims don't have a clue. They still praying. Right now, we are prophetically in Isha. We are in the time where the sun rises, where prayer is forbidden. Right now, God has Maddie down here, and everything is being required. Ain't no prayers going up. Only thing going forth is the Shahada and praise and worship. Them Salats, nope, nope. What, what does the Quran tell you? Okay, what does your prophet Muhammad tell you? That we don't pray during what? The sunrise. Right now, we are in the dispensation of the prophet Isa coming among us. And we don't pray during the sunrise. Okay? So you need to stop playing and get a hold of a real prophet. Okay? Because I am going to be the sultan. And you can't stop it. Okay? We're going to help Gaza. We're going to help the Arabs. But the Arabs are going to get some correction. Okay? They're going to accept their black mighty. They're black. How y'all say? How y'all say? Y'all, y'all, the black Maddie, no matter what. All right. Just one second. I'm coming back to you, too. And that's the number one problem is ignoring the Bible. So now getting back to where we was at, let's go back to our notes. Yeah. So here we are. Matter of fact, a lot of y'all couldn't see those scriptures. So let me do a screen share because I don't want no excuses. Let me do a quick screen share. All right, go to share. Matter of fact, I'll just take the scripture real quick so y'all can see it. All right, so going back to my notes, let's post that right here. Boom. Let's make it big for the haters. Bang. Yeah, I'm glad I seen that too. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. 
For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. God is jealous. Okay, he's not gonna put he's not gonna put a son above him. Okay, this is what he got on Eli about. Eli about. Eli, according to the book of Samuel, he did not restrain his sons. He was told over and over and over again to correct his sons. And then God came on the scene and said, you know what? Your sons are going to die. You've been putting your son above me. And that's what Christianity is all about. It is all about exalting a so-called son above a so-called father. And see, that third and fourth generation is going into 34. Ain't no escaping it, okay? There is no escaping that. And I was just like, wow, okay? Now, let's look at Rich Homie Quan. He's a picture of me. He was not rich, but the man had money, okay? That's my brother. His whole life was to show me who I am. His name is DeQuantis. My name is Daquan. His name is uh, Lamar. Um, that's me. Okay. My brother name is Lamar. I'm Lamonte. That's going into the ram. Okay. That was offered up in the place of Isaac and everything like that. Okay. This man is the Atlanta rapper. And guess where he died? He died September. Okay. September the ninth month. That's going into nine years. Rich as in the spirit, he dropped the album. Let's see. He released his first only album, Rich as in the spirit. That's going into the Holy Spirit. That's going into this. Jesus said, whatever you say about me will be forgiven. But whatever you say about the Holy Spirit, and he was speaking of his father, not the prophet Muhammad. We all assume that. Okay, this is talking about Al-Mahdi. Whatever you say against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. That's the perfect precept for Deuteronomy 18. 18. We always assumed that that was talking about the prophet Muhammad, but no, the prophet Muhammad was of Ishmael, not Israel. There was coming a descendant of David in the future who was going to hold everybody accountable. When no prayer is going to be going up, he was going to be simply taking care of business. Okay. The only thing that's going on is there's no God, but Allah and al Mahdi is his messenger. Okay. That's what's going on. Other than that, Jeremiah was told, don't pray for these people. Uh-uh. Don't pray for these people. Y'all been playing games, okay? And now Allah's judgment is near. I'm not rushing it. It came. It hit me first like a ton of bricks. When Allah said, you know your mama died at nine, I said, wow. And I'm saying I heard that within myself, okay? I literally heard that, and I knew exactly where he was talking about. I was trying to get away from it because I went to prison, uh, and I was given six do three. That equals nine years. Um, I got into an accident earlier this year in which I broke my third and fourth metatorsal, and I never broke a bone. But it was the third and fourth, and that's going into twenty. 34 the third and fourth generation which is also seen on my logo right there people 22 34 you know when, when when all Allah has to do is say is say like two or three words in it to change your life forever once he said that I knew I was the Maddie I was excited okay but I knew that my time is short I gotta take it slow I gotta appreciate uh, my family um I got to appreciate my wife and, 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 you know, I got to, my, my fam, I got to be on point, man. You know, you know, that's what really, really hit me when God says, set your house in order. You're going to die. Okay. And I went to work. I work. I went to work on my second job. I didn't even call off. I just went to work and I hid that secret in my heart until I got home and shared it with my inner fam. Okay, it's going down, man. It is going down. So with that being said, let's go over to this video. We are still talking about your your boy, Rich Homie Quan. And so now what I want to do is I want to go to another screen share. And let's go to this video that I have up. And it's uh, a YouTube short. Doesn't have many views because, you know, I'm low volume. You know, the truth is always blocked out. <laughs> so let's go to the VLC player. I'm going to play something real quick. Yeah, I'm going to play this little 
video. Let me exit out real quick. Oh, you're not getting away. You're not. There it is. All right. Zoom and share. Okay, so here we go. We're about to play this little video. No sound, but there is video. All right. There it is. And I want to pause it. So I can break this down. Let's exit the full screen. And let's make it about half size. Yeah, so here we go. Let's go to this. All right. So Rich Homie Kwan was a foreshadow of me, Al Matty. My name is Daquan Lamonte Clay. Okay. My name, my dad name was Monty Brooks. That's going into Mountain by the Waters. I was born, look, in Fort Wayne. Look, in the, in Diana. In the die. Okay, I told you, I got the die. I got the die for the nation of Israel's coming from my loins. And then look, that's going into the Maddie. Okay, die, see right there, die Quan. The Mad D, die, die, die. That's me. I have to die, and I will raise up the tribes of Israel from my loins. So you, this is going to show you how off these Israelite camps are. Damn. I was born May 13th. My dad was born in May, May 31st, or May 30th. And my son was born May 10th. Mad D, Mad D, Mad D, Mad D. I can't escape it. Uh, the 13th letter of the alphabet is the M. Okay. Lamonti, my name means law man. Allah is going to allow me to revise the Quran and to revise the Hadiths and to revise the Bible. And it also, Lamonti also means the mountain. My rap name is Octane, the hood apostle. Sent out to the hood. Okay. I'm here to restore the black nation. We're going to put black people back on top. And I don't have any black support, but I still love my people. I still love my brothers, man. Okay? It's our time to shine. Let's keep going. And, all right, we went over this. The prophet Muhammad said, a hut. The hood apostle is a mountain that loves us. And we love it. He, he was literally speaking over you guys' heads. Okay? He was always talking about me. It was my voice speaking through the prophet Muhammad. I was in heaven at that time. So going on, we have, let's see. Oh, it must have got stuck. Yeah, yeah, here we go. We got this man. We talked about him. Man, this man, this, now Allah revealed to me through a dream years ago. It was this black man in my mansion. And this brother was just chilling watching the screen, man. It was so funny. I was I used to think, like, who was that brother? But now I know it is this man. Now, this man, Rich Homie Kwan, was a picture of me. Now think about it. He has a song called Type Away. Some type of way. Some type of way. Okay. Um, and he literally is basically saying, you know. These brothers are jealous. They mad. And that's exactly what I was doing in my song that I made years ago when I was talking about the Arabs being mad that, you know what I mean? The black is in the picture now. OK, I was talking about them being jealous. I, I called it Jello. OK, because Bill Cosby is also a picture of me. OK, the man who made the Jello. I am the man who who is making the Arabians mad. Think about other songs he did. He did a song called Walk Through. When I walk through, when I walk through, I'm going to walk before the world. I am that guy that's going to walk before the world because I have the time clock. I'm a ticking time bomb. Okay? 
I'm a time bomb. Okay? And it's going to happen, man. It's going to happen, man. Because, man, I, I know, I know that. And look, that's another one of his songs. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. See, I know things. I know things that your pastor don't know. And I'm giving God all the praise. He don't shoot me down because I'm preaching real good. I give him all the praise. It is said in your hey deeps that the Maddy will have a big nose and a broad forehead. No, that's not just going into his physical. I got that. Okay, I got that. But this is going into this man. He knows, he knows, he knows. Okay, this is my party right now. I'm supposed to be celebrating. The Prophet Muhammad lived poor for me. I'm going to make sure that my family is straight. Y'all paying the bill. Okay. I'm telling you. I'm an heir to this planet. Okay. Allah has entrusted al Mahdi to clean up this earth. Okay. It's mine. He's Lord of the worlds. He entrusted me with this earth. Okay. So let me tell it again. Let me, let me make an Arabian mat. I know, I know. Y'all said seven years. Y'all said eight years. Allah revealed to me we have nine years. And your prayers ain't going nowhere. Okay? Allah, I went to do my I went to do my prayer the other day, and I and all Allah had to say to me was sunrise. I said, Oh, whoa, prayer forbidden. Okay. We around we are in the dispensation. When we are about to meet the prophet Esau, you about to meet my son. You about to meet my son. Okay. So right now that ain't going down. Okay. So this, and, and look right there in the Quran, it tells you, it literally tells you, and I ain't even going to go into the chapter. Okay. Where it talks about that. I was literally listening to it this morning. So the Quran is my book. It's new. My name is on the cover and I'm going to show you something else. All right. Show you how my name is on the cover of the Quran. This is a miracle. You want a miracle? Allah said he will raise. He said that he will uh, make a bird out of clay. I am that clay and it would bring healing. OK, watch this. Look at that. Now, how did this man know to make Quran look like the Quran? Because God deals with me with true prophecy. He said, you know what? He said, the Quran is your book. Your name is on the cover. That R stands for you are the Rasulullah. You are the prophet of Allah. All the other prophets and messengers were using your name. Okay. You were the one who was quoting the scriptures through all of them. And it shocked me, man. I just smiled real big. I was like, man, my little black self, yo, man. Out of all these people, some nappy headed little Negro, okay, is your man? I said, I've been your man this whole time. Rich Homie Kwan had no idea that my name was on the cover of the Quran. Look at that. Same color and everything. Who is the Rich Homie Kwan? It wasn't the Rich Homie Kwan. It's the Rich Homie Dai Kwan, the Defan, okay, the heir. Like when you watch that movie, um, Joan of Arc. Okay, they, that's, that's exactly what they're going to be doing. They're going to be like, how is this guy going to lead a crusade? He doesn't have any military experience. How does this man uh, know the Quran? He, he doesn't even know Arabic. Arabic. No, God deals with me in my language. In my language of my community, bro. Okay, now keep going. My name is on the cover of the Quran. Now it says my name is um, like, for instance, Islam, God revealed to me before I even knew this. He said, Islam is your religion. He said it was your religion before there ever was a earth before there ever. This is how you pray. This is how you got down. He said, Islam is Lamontes. I was like, wow. So that's just two times. Islam was borrowed to the Arabians. It was lent to them. It's really Lamontes. Okay. He said the mountains is to stabilize the earth. Okay. And y'all kept on saying that Jesus is the son of God. And what did the Quran say? It says at this saying the heavens will, will quake. And what does it say? It says the mountains will fall. 
and the earth will cleave. And that's another one of my names, the earth, the ear, the clay. Clay is the earth. OK, so, man, let me tell you something, brother. I'm holding you all accountable. OK, because I'm going to keep getting rejected, but it's going to come to the forefront no matter what. OK, and I'm not going to tempt Allah by going out trying to do something stupid, like going out there and slapping somebody up. No, <laughs> I'm just going to let him bring me to the forefront because it's written. I can't escape it. Sometimes I feel like Jonah, man, I need to run away. But you can't run away from God, man. You can't run from him. So let's keep going through this. All right. Daquan is Al Maddie, the richest man on earth. The Arabs are sour. OK, and that's what your boy literally said. Matter of fact, let me give my dude some play. Let me let me give him some play. Matter of fact, let me give him some play. I don't even got his albums or nothing, man. I don't even, I never even really I don't really get down with music like this, man. But Allah told me that the prophecy is in the movies like uh, the book of Eli. All of the Denzel Washington movies is a picture of the black Maddie, the Jamie Foxx movie, Yango or how you said Django. Um, all these uh, movies and even in the music, the spirit of prophecy is in the music. Now, let me go to um, one of his songs type away. Because people probably like, oh, yeah, he just be listening to that world music. No, no. Look, 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 look. The reason why your prophet wasn't allowed, y'all, y'all literally took idol talk and and stopped yourselves from listening to music. Although some of your fake Muslims still listen to music. OK, still drawing and coloring, making images. The reason why he couldn't do none of that, because that wasn't his religion. You see, David is the praise warrior. OK, we bring in the music back in Islam. We bring in the dancing back in Islam. Why? Because we are leading the Adon. OK, we are like the Bilal. You forgot about, brother. We the Bilal. We coming back for our stuff. OK, so this brother got the song type away. Don't hate on him. Don't hate on him. This brother is in the mountains. He's in the mansions right now. Look what he says. Some type of way, some type of way, some type of way, watch this, feel some type of way, Mr. CEO is what my, these, Ar these Arabs is feeling some type of way, come on now, just think they girlfriends got to accept the black Maddie, their wives have to accept the black Maddie, he said Mr. CEO is what my title say. My title say co. I'm co. Okay. Allah revealed to me I'm most closest to Allah. Okay. I immediately thought about the prophet Muhammad, the prophet Isa. No. This is you. And I've been singing about it. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. Behold my servant whom I uphold. He's guiding me. Mine elect. That's talking about al -Madi, The man he lengthened the day for. The man he shortened the days for. Mine elect in whom my soul is pleased. God is pleased with me because he's going to use me to clean up this earth. Okay, giving God all the praise. We bring in the praise. We bring in the worship. We bring in the music, the dancing back in Islam. Because right now, y'all dry. Y'all hypocrites. Y'all don't know what to do with the hijab. Y'all don't know what to do with music. Because y'all don't have no guidance. Y'all don't. And I'm not saying that arrogantly. Arrogantly, I'm just speaking from my position. Islam is my religion. Now I want to play the other one. I want to play the one where he says, I know. Really makes some boys feel sour. 
Okay, y'all in my com, uh, my brothers that's on here, don't don't come on here crying. Don't come on here crying. You ain't called yet. Nope, nope. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Take your your death like a soldier. And this is rich homie Quan talking about you love Muhammad, 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 and you don't even love his father. Talking about Muslims love Jesus too, and you don't even love his father. That's because your Arabs is modeling on YouTube, trying to be cute, okay? Playing games. I know. I know. No, I know, I know. Uh huh. Referee. Uh huh. Come on. I'm going to do that. Uh huh. Thirty four. Cause what? Come on now, watch this. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Guess what? You ain't that nigga you say you is. And I know, I know, I know. Come on now. Come on now. Money loan. This man seen it. Okay? My, my brothers, I wish my black people would wake up. They, we've been singing about this stuff. This stuff is our kingdom. This is our nation. Okay, the Arabs were supposed to pass that baton back. And this is the reason why we had a fruit of Islam here. We can't sit up there and knock Elijah, the honorable Elijah. We can't knock um, Malcolm X, Kali, Muhammad, because we always had some ownership in this thing. It wasn't the Arabs. The prophet Muhammad was a servant. He couldn't put his face on it. He was told he's not the owner. In other words, he said, you know, you're not a supervisor. He said, you're not the father. In other words, you're not Daddy Mac. You're not Big Daddy. Let me tell you something. When Allah puts me into my place, our stuff is going to be like McDonald's. The most successful ministry on the planet is coming from right here. We're going to be like McDonald's. Okay, me and my wife was working in McDonald's together years ago, and I still didn't know I was the Matty. Okay. And I was working maintenance. Maddie, putting up the flag. I was Maddie the whole time, been Maddie. Okay? When my mama died, now, when my mama died, she wrote a prayer for me before she passed. And she used to tell me to sing, I mean, to read the prayer. And one day I missed it. And when I missed it, she died. So I used to always hold me responsible for my mom's death. But I realized, hey, that's what that was going into. You gonna be the one that's gonna do the Adon. You are the one whom Allah is gonna hear the prayers of. Okay? Right now, prayer is shut down. Okay? Repentance is not prayer. You better bring forth good works. We're gonna hold you accountable. Okay? He don't wanna hear that. Remember, God told Jeremiah, pray not for these people, pray not for them. And the Prophet Muhammad's problem. And my problem is this. We always want to save the people God want to destroy. He's doing it like the days of Noah. He's bringing up the tribes from my loins, from my house. Okay? That's how he's doing it. It's like the Noah's 8. It's like the days of Lot. Okay? And it's going down. I don't care if you get mad. A lot of people going to be sour. Okay? It's going to be sour. They going to be sour. Why? Because I float like a butterfly and I sting like a bee. Okay. The real Mohammed was black. Cassius Clay, which is my last name. Cassius, get going into the money. Cassius Clay was a picture of me. The real Mohammed is a black man. 
And many people do not know that. It's because they don't study. Song of Solomon 1, 5, and 6 tells you. The story of Bilal. Okay? The story of Luckman. And I am Luckman. You know what Luckman means? Lucky man. The black leader. He has a book named after him in the Quran. I'm the lucky man. Allah revealed to me. He said, if anybody got a right to praise God, it is you. It is you. Okay? Because right now, this is your party. This is your celebration to reach your nation, put your people on, and to do good with your family before you go. Okay? And I will meet my son, the prophet Isa. Okay? Whom y'all been worshiping as God. Whom y'all been worshiping as God and he's no God. No, you're going to know when when Allah is going to put a demonstration on my son, something so serious, everybody going to be like, "Woo!" they're going to be like Rahab. They're going to be like, man, we know your God ain't no joke. He put down a demonstration. Our hearts melt. That's what my God going to do. He's going to put a demonstration down on them Christians, man. These Christians is going crazy. America, 1.1% Christian. And Islam is the best religion. We believe in fighting in the cause of Islam. And here we have people who believe in turning the other cheek on top. What the hell is going on? God said the mountains got to get down there. I got to send El Matty down here to clean up this house. Okay. We got a religion that believes in being sissies. That it believes in gay marriage. Got little boys running around holding sticks, holding little joy sticks all day. We got a religion that believes in turning the other cheek, living at peace with your neighbor on top of a religion that believes in fighting and, and dying as a martyr in the cause of Islam. Why the Arabians is on YouTube modeling, modeling. Trying to look so cute. Muhammad, 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 And rejecting the stone that the builders rejected. So let me get another one of Rich Homie Quans. And I don't even listen to his music. I don't even know none of his music. This is just God just let me know. Rich Homie Quan is a picture of you. Okay, the Quran is your book. And then the next week I look at it, I'm like, whoa. This is so deep. I'm like. Allah, I truly give you the praise. Your best friend is a black man. That's amazing, man. That is amazing. Okay, so now I got walkthrough. Let's play this one. For people that are slow, when he said feeling like the man in Latin, la is the. So when you say Islam, you is literally, if you look at it, it says I is the man. I is la man. I is la man. Okay. You can take that M and get an N out of it. God taught me the letters. He taught me numerology. He taught me the gospels. He taught me how to spell. That is literally saying la Monte is the prophet of Islam. And the prophet Muhammad was using that mantle. Moses was even using that mantle. Okay? Because when I die, my face is not going to be disfigured. I'm going to die a young man. I mean, I'm 42 years old, man. I, and I'm still going, man. I'm still going. Allah has preserved me. It's just going to be like a young man then got buried. People don't even know my age, man. People be like, man, I think you were 20-something. I think you this. Oh, this is just, you know, <laughs> the, the prison bars, okay? Being locked up, okay? And just Allah's grace preserving me. But let's get to that walkthrough. Watch this. 
Who got more money than me? Come on now. This is this is a picture of the black Maddie when he makes that walk through through the world. Because this is the only prophet on the planet right now. Now we have many of our prophets. The the bloodline of the prophets is here. Okay? That's why it's being sung in the music. But the daddy prophet is down here to put things in check and to put things in order. Okay? And that's right here. A black man. A young black man. Now, I'm not excluding all nations. All nations can come into Islam. Okay? Okay? But what I'm just saying, hey, it's our time. It's our time. Our brothers and sisters need to know the real truth that the real Muhammad is a black man, not some white reddish man on a white horse. No. Tired of that. Okay. That's because brothers do not study. Song of Solomon says, I am black, but calmly. O you daughters of Jerusalem as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of who? Solo man, Solomon. I'm the last Solomon. Your prophet, the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, chose to live poor for the last Solomon. That's why all the money is coming here. That's why he said, who got more money than me? He wasn't talking about himself. He was talking about Al-Mahdi. He was talking about the ministry that is going to surpass McDonald's. See, Al, Al and McDonald's. Don, Don, that's going into the last Don. And that's going into me. Okay, so let me go back to where I was at, man. I, I played a couple couple clips for y'all. Now I'm going to um, not share that real quick. Get off of that real quick. And let's go back to where I was at. Yeah, right here. So Arabs are sour. I know. I'll tell you a story and I'm going I'm to tell the truth. OK, before I even knew I was Al Matty. OK, I was in the Israelite camp, black man on top. OK, then I was like, you know what? Islam is the truth. These brothers is Christians. <laughs> I said, I got to walk out of IUIC, man. These brothers is Christian. OK, these brothers is Christian. I had to get up out of there, man. And I, I, I came into Islam. And so I left all of that. I just wanted to be a part of the Arabian or Islam you know, thing. I didn't want to go to the FOI. I didn't want to associate any part. I don't want, I don't want to associate any partner with Allah. So I didn't want to go into my black nation that I still love. Okay. But I went to these brothers and man, let me tell you something. Trying to go to an Arab um, mosque, you leave voicemail at the voicemail. The, the secretaries be like, huh? Okay. We'll have them call you. Imam, Imam. Never call you. Racist as a mug. I had to call about at least 10 mosques, to, at least to be able to get someone to talk. And I finally got a connection and I went to one and then um, got to go to another one. Man, it was so dead and dry in there, man. Um, I liked how they don't have a leash on you like these Israelite camps. I like I love that part. They don't got no leash on you. OK, you can do what you do. You can go anywhere you want. You know, ain't nobody bothering. Ain't nobody begging for the money or none of that. I love that. I love that part. Um, but, yeah, I was there and, you know, I went to one in my town where I'm at and the brother was like, well, you need a name. And I'm like, well, I am Daquan. I am, you know, people. He was like, you need a name. And so look what he does. He names me Abdullah. God was guiding him. The man was giving me little hats, giving me little things. God was guiding him. He named me Abdullah, which is the name of the Prophet Muhammad's um dad which is agrees with al Mahdi. so then like a week later you know allah revealed to me strong i was al Mahdi. i wasn't paying attention to al Mahdi at first because it wasn't in the quran okay i wasn't focused on it but allah just kept pressing slowly and surely on me and i started looking into it and i said oh my i am this guy so then i went to the school and you know i went to him by himself and the same guy who called me abdullah uh, I, I told him, he's like, uh, 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 you're not the Maddie, you're not the Maddie, you're not the Maddie. Okay, like, and then that's when Satan started guiding me. 
Okay, that's when Satan start guiding him. And that's the true secret. A person will be rightly guided. And then when you tell them the truth, then you'll see Satan come and snatch them and misguide them. That's why you got to be careful who you share stuff with. Okay, and I, you know, and you know, all due respect, you know, I just stopped going. And Allah just started dealing with me more and more and everything. And then he revealed more, more in-depth stuff about al Mahdi. I got more knowledge of the al Mahdi than even the Hadiths contain. The problem with the Muslims is they're focused on Dajjal. They're focused on eschatology and the Antichrist. And they don't think the Mahdi will appear until uh, Jesus. They don't know nothing. They're going by their scholars who are in the dark. Allah did not reveal anything to me about the Antichrist yet. He didn't reveal anything to me about the jaw and all that stuff. He dealing with me one thing at a time. First, we need to make the announcement. I'm here. Okay. He'll lead me step by step by step. Okay. They just don't have no knowledge. It's because you've been ignoring Jeremiah, Isaiah. Oh, you'll go to Isaiah to get a scripture about Muhammad. You'll go to Jeremiah to get a scripture about Muhammad. You go to Deuteronomy to get a scripture about Muhammad. You go to Song of Solomon chapter five to get a scripture about Muhammad with his name. Oh, but go to chapter one. It talks about his ruler. It talks about his Bilal. Okay, that was here first. The bill is overdue. Your prophet lived poor for me. That's why all the money is coming in, okay? And we're going to deal with all of y'all who talking crazy. You talking crazy in the comments. You talking crazy. All oh, this little black guy think he's the Matty. You know, we're going to deal. And let me tell you something. People going to tell. For the money, for the, for the fame, okay, for the honor, people going to snitch on you. So it's best for you to just keep your mouth closed. Just spread the word. Say, hey, this brother, okay, he's got good, good conduct, good morals. The man is in the word. The man is studying. The man doesn't steal. The man works. Okay. The man is not high. Okay. This brother is living a decent life. The man, you know, married. Okay. Let, let's try to see if we can get an interview. But no, no, it's that racial, that racial pride. No, 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 no. He not the Mahdi. He not the Mahdi. Okay. And now what does the Quran say in the book of the bees? It says the roof has caved in on them. And that's why 30,000 Palestinians, man, is gone. Okay, it's because their imams are using their own uh, imams, just like they were doing in the war. They was using their own people as shields, which was cowardly. Okay, which was cowardly. Okay, let's just keep it honest. Let's just keep it 100. That was cowardly. They, instead of going to the Black Mahdi, they're going to their own scholars. They failed to realize that the prophet Muhammad was not the owner. He was the he was not the heir. He was a servant. He was like an Eliezer picking out a bride for Isaac or the prophet Isa. This is one thing you need to understand. If if the religion of Islam belongs to the prophet Muhammad, who is Arabian, why is Jesus the Messiah of it? OK, you got to think about that. Why? Because that religion belongs to Israel. The prophet Isa is the Messiah of it. But what's going to happen is the prophet Isa has to die. OK, because al Mahdi is here. I had to come down. So the prophet Isa got to die. And then that baton is getting passed from me to my son. And the tribes of Israel is going to come from my Daishan, my son, die with the die. OK, he's going to lead it. OK, so that just tells you how much these Israelite camps are in the dark and these these dang old imams or imams um, don't have any idea that the Al Mahdi is the guy prophesied in Isaiah 49 and 6. The man who will be a light to the Gentiles and will raise up the tribes of Israel. Okay. When the prophet Muhammad said that there will be no other prophet that will come after me, that was Al Mahdi speaking through him. Muhammad was a mantle. All prophets is Muhammad. All the prophets from Moses, Noah. Noah reached out to different nations. Okay. Adam reached out to different nations. Jonah, he reached out to Nineveh. 
So what does it mean? Why, why did the prophet say he was the last messenger or he was the only messenger to, to reach out to anybody other than his nation? That was al Mahdi speaking through him. OK, the religion of Islam is when you when you receive a prophet through a prophet. Remember, Jesus said, if you receive a prophet through a prophet, you will receive a prophet's reward. If you receive a righteous man in the name of a righteous man, righteous man, not God, you will receive a righteous reward. Every time the Quran was quoted, it was al Mahdi speaking through the prophet Muhammad. He wasn't dealing with Allah. It was the messenger in heaven that was speaking through him. Okay. al Mahdi is the chief prophet of all the prophets. He is the one who hears all the books. He is the stone, the black stone that you kiss the Kaaba. Okay. That's why the scriptures say, kiss the son lest he be angry with you. Because when God put me in power, I'm going to be a sultan. I'm going to be a sultan. OK, kiss the son lest he be angry with you. That's not talking about Jesus. Jesus was a pacifist. He believed in turning the other cheek. He said, if you live by the sword, you'll die by the sword. No, this is going into a son metaphor. It's not talking about an actual son. Allah has no sons. This is going into the S-O-S-U-N, the S-U-N, going into the man who's going to shine, going into al Mahdi. Just like in Proverbs, it says, what is his son's name? Then it leaves what? A Q, a question mark that's going into Al Mahdi. Al Mahdi is the son and the father. He is the begotten son. Okay. When Jesus said, God so loved the world, he sent the real Muhammad or Al Mahdi in the world. And those that believe on him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. Okay. That is talking about what he is going to do, the book that he's going to uh, revise, okay? This is talking about his reign. That's what he was talking about, okay? And Christians think he's talking about Jesus and all this, man, they don't have a clue. They don't even have a clue that Jesus has to come back and die. So let's go on a little bit. Um, the hit song, Walk Through, is about Daekwant will walk in front of the world. That's going to happen. OK, the hit song type of way is about how the Arabs is being mad. Their Mahdi is black. That's true because he's singing. you know, you feeling some type of way. People are feeling some type of way. People are clicking and skipping and, and, and like this dude is going crazy. OK, and you feeling some type of way. You got to study the scriptures, man. You have to study the scriptures. The ruler of the Arabs is a black man going on there i go right there you know so of uh, course people don't have faith today jesus said um will he find faith when he returns okay the the maddy is a man who is rejected okay he's a little black guy with no views on his youtube channel okay he's a little black guy okay and He's rejected. He's a man of sorrows. Okay. The suffering servant was not the prophet Isa. Okay. The suffering servant, when it says by his stripes, we are healed. Okay. That's going into how I was chastised. Okay. It's not talking about Jesus being beat down and all that. No. Okay. It says he will make his soul an offering for sin. It doesn't say his body will be made an offering for sin. It says his soul will be offered, be offered for sin. And that's going into the heartache, the heartbreak, constantly being rejected, rejected. People that's supposed to be your best friends, okay, don't even support you. People that's supposed to be your homies, don't even look into this stuff. This is going into rejection. The suffering servant, Isaiah 53. A man of sorrows. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick because I'm going to bust you up. I'm going to bust you up. Isaiah 53. Let's get that. Who is the suffering servant? People are in the dark because Christians slap Jesus on everything. Look what it says. Who have believed our report? Nobody. Nobody is believing that I am the black Monty right now. Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? I just showed you the arm. 
I just showed you. I showed you my arm. And this is something God showed me today. Okay, I was just amazed. Who has believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Me. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root. A root is going into the father. The father came down here. The father of the prophet Isa is down here. Jesus is not the root. Okay, he was the son of David. He have no form, no comeliness, as you can see. Okay, there's nothing beautiful about me. There's nothing comely, like far as, as the world would see, but far as in the black nation, as far as how God see me, yeah, I'm black and comely. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire of him. God gave me just enough. He gave me just what I need so that I don't get caught up and fall astray. He is despised and rejected of men. I am that rejected right now. Okay. All day, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it was our face from him. And he was despised and we didn't honor him. This is your daddy you won't honor. Surely he have carried our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God. All men is dude is cursed. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Remember that paradise, that stone that came from paradise. It was once white. But because of the sins of the people, it became black. And that's how it is with Al Madi. Okay. And with his stripes, with his chastisement, we are healed. We're all we like sheep have gone astray and have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord have laid on him. God has made this man responsible with cleaning up the earth. That's what that's going into. He was oppressed and was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. Okay. He was brought as a lamb. See, Lamonte, lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before the shears is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. And that's how I am in public, everywhere I go. When I go places, I don't say nothing. I don't. I get on YouTube and I proclaim, I'm the rich homie Quan. I'm at home with it. I don't, people don't know who they walk past every day at work. They don't know who they work with, okay? I open up my mouth. Now watch this. My, when I'm at work, it's work. I don't go to my job to preach, and tell somebody anything. People are going to be lost if they want to be lost. And most of the time when you at work. People ain't doing nothing but talking about bullshit. And you know it. Going on. He was taken from prison. I was in prison. And from judgment. And who shall declare his generation. Watch this. For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Watch this. And made his grave with the wicked. Watch this. And with the rich in his death, because he's rich. Because he done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Okay? I came here doing whatever I'm doing. I'm good. Okay? All the stuff that's on y'all is not on me. I, I came straight from heaven. I came, I had nothing to do with what was going on down here. Okay? God made it like that. Verse 10, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him and have put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul, not his body. There's no such thing as human sacrifice, okay? In the Bible, there's no such thing. God doesn't do human sacrifice. Made his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed, my son, and shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hands. The Lord is going to allow my son. To walk before his anointed. Verse 11. He shall see the travail of his soul. In other words, God's going to look and be satisfied. Like this, this is my guy right here. Okay. By his knowledge. That's what I'm doing. By his knowledge. Shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall bear their iniquities. He's going to be responsible for taking away the sin of the world. So when John the Baptist came up to the prophet Isa, he said, behold, the lamb which take away the sin of the world. OK, he was speaking in the metaphor of Al Madi. That's why Jesus had to automatically say, oh, hold on. You baptize me. OK, no, -uh. John the Baptist was ruler over Jesus. John the Baptist had his own ministry. Jesus didn't baptize John the Baptist. John the Baptist baptized him. So when he started throwing all those accolades on the prophet Isa, the prophet Isa was like, hold on. Okay, 
you baptize me. You are greater, John. I'm a servant of servants. I am the son of David. OK, and Christians don't get that. They automatically think that when it says, behold, uh, the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. That's not talking about somebody hanging on a tree dying for you. That's talking about a man, a ram that's going to come in the future. And this man is going to completely fill up the earth with righteousness and equity. And the Bible speaks in parables all the time. And what Christians do is they take it literally all the time and they're off going on. Verse 12, therefore will I divide him a portion with the great. That's what he's doing. And shall divide the spoil with the strong. Why? Because he poured out his soul unto death. This man didn't do anything wrong. He came from glory. He was in heaven the whole time since the beginning. And because of this religion we call Christianity and his son exalted stuff, God had to send the father prophet down here and now the father prophet has to die okay it's messed up that's why Allah has given me what he's given me and he's going to allow me to celebrate and have my best life with my kids now going on I will divide him a portion with the great he shall divide the spoil with the strong because he had poured out his soul unto death and he was numbered with the transgressors I was in prison and everything man Okay, got a DOC number. I ain't got. I ain't had no business doing none of that, man. And he shall bear the sin of many. And he made intercession for the transgressors. I'm the man that's going to do the Adon. Okay, I am the Bilal. Okay, this is the man that's going to bring back the prayers because right now in Islam the prayers are forbidden because of sunrise in the spiritual realm. That's why it was a big deal when the prophet Isa was asked to pray. And the prophet Isa said, you have some of your own leaders because what had happened was there was a whole dispensation that took place when the prayers was forbidden because Allah is dealing with things with his messenger. So that just it just it just tells you it shows you how blind Islam is without their prophet. OK, so. I gave you much. I gave you a, a long video and I got it recorded so I can post it on all my multiple channels. And we need to get this truth out. 2034 is going down. I die. OK, I die. 2034, man. Um, I'm going to live my best life now. OK, and right now um, I'm just giving God all the glory and I'm going to start this clock. You know, this clock has already started and that's why the nations are coming with the money. The money is going to come in a, in abundance. Remember, when the prophet Isa is here, it said money will be in so much abundance that people will not take it as gifts. OK, because that's all going into Al Matty and what he did. Money is going to be in abundance. So with that being said, stop being fake. Look at the signs, okay? Look at the signs. God said, I will make for you a bird made out of clay. And he will bring healing. The healing is not in a physical heal. It's in the knowledge. It's in the teaching. That's what we need. We need real teaching. We need real truth from someone who knows, who knows. Look, I know. I know, okay? Just like the prophet Muhammad said, hey, I only know what Allah shows me. Okay. Do I know everything? No, I don't know everything. No, 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 no. I don't know everything. I only know what he shows me. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters that will be real Muslims. Right now, I haven't really dealt with no real Muslims. Okay. Because if you can hear somebody talk about Al Mahdi, Al Mahdi, Al Mahdi, Al Mahdi, and not try to reach out via email, you're not a real Muslim. Because al Mahdi is your prophet's prophet. In Islam, you receive a prophet through a prophet. Okay? If you honor the prophet Muhammad, then you need to honor the Mahdi ten times more. And that's just the reverence. Okay? This is a man that was in heaven this whole time. This is the guy Paul and Satan all was jealous of. And they was trying to make this man Jesus. No, that was Jesus' father. 
Jesus' father was the one that was in the beginning, okay? He was the one that was always there. He was that backup copy. And because of Exodus 20, that man, had, I have to die. It says God is a jealous God. When you start bowing down and all that stuff to an, another man, guess what happened? His dad has to die too, okay? And because of the people worshiping the prophet Esau, his dad has to die. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.